Hello, my name's Mike. I'm a psychotherapist. I grew up in an alcoholic home. I remember my grandfather when I was little drinking shaving lotion, aqua velva, vanilla extract. My dad was also an extreme alcoholic. We rarely saw him because he was generally out drinking. There was always this little voice in the back of my brain. I'm not gonna be my father and I'm not gonna be like my grandfather. I'm not gonna be the town drunk. At 45, I had a thriving practice. We had a beautiful home. We had a great life. I love being a father. I remember starting to kind of hide drinks. Have booze in my water bottle even like a milk carton. I'd have booze in the toilet tank. It was just starting to just fall apart. And even the boys would come up, Dad, I'll quit drinking with you. We can do this together. All I was thinking about is, I really need a drink. I called my oldest son and I said, I want to talk to you. I was trying to do this amends thing once again. And he was done. And he just said, Dad, uh, I love you. But I can't do it. I can't do this anymore, he said. I have to pretend that, you know, that you're not alive or something, that you're dead. So we're not going to have any more contact. And he didn't. Go down the ditches along the highways, picking bottles, cash them in. Tried panhandling. I was starting to detox. And I needed a drink, badly. I pulled out my laptop. It was a brand new laptop. I just said, anybody want to buy a laptop? And finally one guy says, I'll give you 20 bucks for it. I took the 20 bucks and bought four beer. Four beer. It's called the Coach of Willingness. And that coach was just, it stunk of piss and puke and you stay there until, you know, you can kind of convince the people around the place that you're going to surrender to the program. The worst thing that happened in there was the suicide when uh, Harold hung himself. There was a rusty old child swing there and uh, he was hanging from that. And I just said, you know, I have to get out of here. But I had nowhere to go. Oh, so I hear you tried to off yourself. Uh, he says, you know, listen, you want to fucking off yourself? Let's go. I'll buy the rope for you. I'll drive you to the fucking bridge. Can't even do that right. The first year of uh, getting sober was probably one of the hardest years of my life. A year's a long time when the things that are most important to you in life aren't in your life anymore.